welcome back to New World. It's been a little while. I know, I know. But uh, I've, I've been doing a little bit off stream very casually, just uh, just doing stuff every now and then to chill. Thought I'd update you guys where I am. We haven't gone anywhere new, so don't worry. Uh, Eden Grove is the next destination, but we'll get to that at some point. But you remember last time the uh, the quest, like the, the main story quest, uh, it was to go like here and over here. That was like a the bear basically that the, there was a talking wolf here and now i've got to go up here so i basically oh, right, right, right here actually i've basically done like one extra step there so nothing too much in terms of that and uh, you may notice uh actually you may have noticed i'm level 50 now as well so once again that's just that you're doing uh, all the faction missions and stuff um like daily well not not, really not daily but I do some every now and then, the faction missions, that's going quite well, like the blue ones, so I've been doing a bunch of those, and uh, I got to the point where I'm in Restless, well I was in Restless Shore, and everything I have is in this little area here, so there's like an elite area here, and then this is the depths, so hopefully we can do all those soon, because I literally have one, two, three, four, I have six quests in one area, so that would be like a massive chunk of XP, be kind of crazy, uh, and also, you may have noticed, my weapons. It's like, why are they purple? That's a good question. Basically, um, my other weapons were almost broken. Uh, they're very almost broken. And I was like, hmm, I know. Let's check the trading post. Um, so then instead of repairing my weapons, which costs like, I don't know, like 50 gold or something, I was like, let's check the trading post for potential upgrades. Snag these two. I paid a total of 15 gold, and I've got upgrades to both. Like, one was 10, one was 5. Like, I, I, I don't know, like, it feels like a problem in this game in a way, but, yeah. Like, weapons here are so cheap. Like, great axe, like, there will literally be, like, a bunch of stuff here. And look at this, like, 4 gold, 5 gold for some of this stuff, and it's like, some of them are actually quite good. So yeah, you can actually like snag some really good ones sometimes, and uh, I got, I got some decent ones. So uh, yeah, that's basically that. And apart from that, uh, I mean, I think I leveled up some of my trade skills a bit. Nothing crazy, nothing game breaking. Uh, but we're doing alright. Uh, but yeah, today, uh, I think our plan is just to do some of these, uh, these quests, and maybe actually, actually, maybe we'll go unlock Eating Grove. That could be fun. Go in here for the first time and see what's going on. So always a good idea to do your town board requests, because we do that, we do this, you can buy them on the Grand Exchange, it's really nice, and uh, yeah, that means we're now level 51, <laughs> just like that, that was pretty easy. Get back from it, it's uh, like in terms of XP, pretty damn good, plus territory standing. Uh, so yeah, make sure you take a bunch of those, I haven't really done that enough in my time actually. And here, I think we'll upgrade strength a bit more, I think that's possibly a good idea. Um, I feel like I've got enough HP for now. I could be very wrong with that, but that'll do. 257 on the strength right now. That's good. I'm not looking to PvP, but I'm pretty sure if you have PvP on, it gives you uh, like a permanent luck bonus. So I'm hoping to take advantage of that a little bit. I believe we will be stepping foot here just about into Eden Grove. So uh, I need to get over to here, and then I guess the town to unlock the uh, potential teleport. We're a little bit further in now, and uh, I found lots of uh, lots of skeletons around. But it's a, it's a very pretty place. Everything's got, look at these colors. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, this place looks funky. Blistery, it's called. So got some uh, scary stuff. Oh, they're after me. <laughs> Should I be scared? Okay, well they would die very quickly. But I do see a chest there that I do quite like. And wait, I'm getting I'm getting blighted. That's a new stat effect I haven't had that before. Okay, I've probably been blighted for 170 seconds. Do I just I take constant damage for three minutes? What? Okay, well that's a really fun stat effect. Uh <laughs> That's going to be very annoying, but hopefully I can survive it with the power of my Hatchet Berserk. Alright, here we go. We made it to uh, uh, this place, Valor Hold. So I've got a couple of quests to pick up here, but there's not really that much going on, is there? 
Okay, well, I picked up all the quests out there and I found a, uh, a fireplace here with some really good collision on it. Uh, you can just waltz right in, it's quite nice. <laughs> okay, so I managed to make my way down to my quest person. So that is good and oh, look at that! We got ourselves an Azoth Staff upgrade, I think. Yeah, there we go, Azoth Staff has been obtained. So let's grab that one, look at that, tier 4, so chuck that on, and uh, that is a hell of an upgrade. Um, but the things that it does do is if there are any corruptions whatsoever, um, I believe that means I'm now capable of doing uh, oh, the, at least the tier 55 ones, not 65, but 55. Well, that is a very menacing looking big green door of doom, isn't it? I wonder what that is in there, but... Uh, now I've got to kill some of these, but I just that's all good. Yeah, so that lady over there has sent us over here to kill some stuff, and now that we've done that, I assume we're possibly about to go inside, maybe possibly. <laughs> I just found a big bear called Juice. <laughs> just bear noises, okay. Well, hi Juice. Good to see you, buddy. Juice, are you okay? You've barely touched your food. Aha, uh -huh, well that is a friendly sight. I managed to find a shrine over here, so I'll activate that one. Now I can come back here whenever I like and be surrounded by these little fiends. Gotta say though, graphically, this place is gorgeous. Like, look at it. Like, the trees, the colours, oh, everything is just it's so beautiful. Oh, okay, so for my next quest, I'm going like back and forth on here, but this one I'm going to go to here, then to there, then to there, then to there. This, uh, this might take a while, this one. Oh my god. Okay, those guys are not to be messed with. What the hell was that damage? Yeah, I guess I've got to be a bit more sneaky when going around these paths now because, uh, yeah, this place is level 59. And, uh, yeah, that nearly... Well, that, that, that would have killed me if I didn't have my hatchet perk. Oh, yeah, these things are apparently bugged on the way and you're supposed to be able to kill them and then woodcut them for wood and wood cutting xp but for some reason they're just a little bit bugged okay that is a disaster i got all the way up to here i went all the way around all the way around all the way around trying to sneak around here and that guy just hit me a 3.5k and i died oh okay nearly got one shot by a mountain lion what the hell was that why does everything murder me in this place i mean at least i lived but still okay good news second sneak seems to be a little bit more successful yep all right got it so that's one out of four and it only took one death i'm gonna say the view from atop this hill though look at that Everything happening down there. I'm on, I'm on top of the world. Look at me go. Okay, I just yoinked his chest and he missed all the shots. I don't think that was worth it for me, but I mean, that's quite funny. Holy, never mind. I thought I could pick that fight. Nope, 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 nope. Run. Oh god. Please, 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 please. Don't hit me. Ooh, I just got a purple drop from that dude. I, I'm quite surprised. It's complete garbage. I don't. I mean, it's not complete garbage, but that's actually, actually, it's actually quite good. Uh, stats wise, not the best. Like the dex and intelligence is not the best, but light and heavy is doing more damage and some chain lightning. I mean, I kind of like the sound of that actually. Okay, well, slight disaster, uh, but also not a disaster. The good news is we're going to be going to the depths. The bad news is I just died. And the other good news is that I've done some quests up here now so I can hand them in. But yeah, I, I, I was trying to be quick to get with my team and uh, yeah, got a bit killed. 
many quests, so it should be uh, should be good. I got one, two, three, four. Wait, I had six earlier. Where did they go? I had loads more. But oh well, that's fine. So something about this run that uh, is gonna be better than the last one actually is that last run the uh, the chests were a bit bugged in a way and they didn't drop as many weapons or armor as they were supposed to. And I'm going to try and be using my uh, Warhammer for a lot of this because, uh, well, <laughs> it needs upgrading and uh, it just got another level. So yeah, last moment we have a bit of an OP team here, like everyone's level 60 apart from me, but you know, it's making for a nice smooth run, so it's all good. I'm mostly here for the quest anyway. Alright, there we go. That is the first boss down and another Warhammer level. Oh, Ethereal Visage. What is that? Looks cool, though. That's interesting. That actually gives me... That's Is that an upgrade? I mean, sort of. It's got some cool stuff. Uh, an 18 strength instead of the 17 that I had. Okay. Oh, I remember this bit. Time for the big testicle. And it's got already. That wasn't a very long-lasting testicle, was it? Okay, so final boss time, and we've got to remember, just like last time, we do not want to touch the big scary lasers. My heel ends. No, not All right, there we go. We did done, did it. We got. Oh, I saw a purple in there. I saw a purple. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Infused longbow. Okay. Wait, that's really good actually. What the hell? Alright. That's really good against corrupt as well. So yeah, we've got absolutely tons of stuff from this. I've uh, got a tentative upgrade here, plus 18 strength, that's the 17 I had before. So uh we're looking pretty good. And I've got a lot of quests to hand in as well. So yeah, it felt pretty nice to get two purples in the dungeon. Very, very cool. And now I'm going to go to this big tower and kill some earth people. <laughs> like how I got my warhammer to level 10 there by uh, just chopping trees because my team killed a mob and leveled me up. Alright, so we made it to the middle bit and this is the big bad boss that we've got to kill. He's got some minions and uh, yeah, then after that faction task done. All right, and there we go. Happy days, I think. So much gear in here. I don't even know how we're gonna sort through all this. It's kind of ridiculous, but yeah, we have lots of stuff now. All right, so good news, everyone. Cat managed to uh, snag a, an upgrade, which is basically the same thing as I've got, except just better. So <laughs> that's really nice. It's like a 10 level upgrade of the exact same thing. Okay, so we made it back to rest ashore, had to run, but look at this, four quests to hand in. Oh, it's beautiful. So, uh, lots of XP incoming. Is that it? Like a 12.5 now, like, that's crazy, actually. I've got a thing called a Vorpal Blade, which could be good. And the Not faction board, of course, so ding, ding, and ding. Look at that, 16k more XP, that's fantastic. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's all the quests I have, but look at that. So much XP. Oh, big day here though. Just uh, bringing my stuff up to Morningdale again. Level 150 leather working. Look at me go. Okay, so this might take a while, but I'm hoping, keyword hoping, that my armoring skill here is going to go way, way up. Because I'm making uh, well over 100 of these things. And now we have the very fun part of pressing salvage on absolutely everything because absolutely none of this can possibly be useful. It's uh, actually maybe it can, I don't know. I forgot what level we had before, but now, uh, what am I, what was I training? Engineering, I think, 109? Wait, no, that wasn't engineering, that was something they've been armoring. Oh, there it is, level 115, very nice. I, I literally don't know how many levels I got there, but I assume that's quite good. So, uh, yeah, now to do it again, I guess. <laughs> okay, so after the armoring escapade, we're going to be back to Eden Grove, try and go back to my mine, where I uh, unfortunately died last time. But hopefully we can finish the quest this time. Managed to actually very easily uh, go and locate those other two crates. That wasn't too much of a problem. Uh, but now the plan, 
is to go to all the quest locations, I think. All right, good news. Made it to the second destination. Just an extra tree. Don't mind them. They're just uh, <laughs> my little bodyguards. It's great. But I need to grab this. And that's two out of four. Okay, take a look at this forest, though. Like, how pretty is this place? Like, It's like a, a magical wonderland. I don't, I don't know. Oh, okay. So this place, apparently... Uh, an expedition, a very high level expedition at that. Uh, we can't go there yet, but one day. Get any one of those Doom's Chance earring. Give me one right now, that, that looks amazing actually. <laughs> That's so good. Oh man, one day, one day, one day. Alright, there we go, another mushroomy thing found, and look at the view. Oh my god, this place is great. Also, there is a shrine just up here, so we can get a quick teleport for later. There we go. One shrine unlocks. That's way in the northwest, though, which is nice. We've got to get around to over here, apparently, now. Can I even get a, can I get through the rocks? I, I don't even know. Holy moly, purple fire stuff? Oh my god, okay. I don't know if it's any good. It gives constitution, but still, another purple drop. Wow. Okay, here we go. Number three out of four, just on top of a big little mountain. Look at that waterfall there. Oh, beautiful. Friends there getting some aura calcum for void, hopefully. And that mob there, it's got this firefox thing. It's a tuning orb and can go to uh, a... Yeah, a, th a thing. Okay. Very interesting. Uh, not what I expected to get, but maybe we get to go to Monotius place one day cool so i'm now being taken across this bridge here and apparently at some point there's going to be a very very scary mob where they said don't worry if you have to run away so yeah chance of death uh very high <laughs> about to come up here very very high but i'm curious what's going to happen so uh i guess we'll find out all right so there's the big fella uh he's his, his level is death, okay. Well, this kind of sums this up, doesn't it? So, uh, good luck, us. Oh my god, dude, he just one-shot me. What? <laughs> what? Oh, back round two, but my axe died, apparently. That's really inconvenient game, really inconvenient, but hopefully uh, this time I won't get swiped. Okay, I must say the health on this guy is absolutely ridiculous. We've been here for at least a couple of minutes now and he's still, he's only half. What? Seems like a one shot again. I was even blocking. What the hell is this boss? I think we got him. There we go. Oh my god. All of that for a vial of withered essence. Was that worth it? I don't know. An elite zone. As if this wasn't elite somehow. Like somehow it's not elite. I don't know how. But yeah, what the hell is that dude? And apparently Kat just got this loaded dice, which I believe is one of the most expensive items in the game. And she just got that from that chest. So she's probably quite happy right now. Okay, so we've gone around a lot of the map now. We've done a bunch of quests, hand in a lot of stuff, and then get more stuff, and it's going to be beautiful. So I'm actually pretty happy with some of the stuff I got on our trip here. I got I got two Tanner's items, which means they get plus 4% uh, leather and leather working, so that's actually going to be quite useful. All right, so I made it all back to the uh, the quest, the main quest, the big quest. I got my gold back for my death <laughs> as well, and I uh, got a bunch of XPs. That's always nice. Okay, so for the next part of the quest, we actually have to go to Ebon Scale Reach all the way over here, apparently. So that's a very long way away, but we'll have to adventure over there next time, I think. Okay, apparently some time during all this, I actually got a, uh, a weapon upgrade. This one's high level, does more damage, and gives me more strength. That's kind of cool. 
All right, guys, that'll do us today for New World. Pretty good session here, actually. We've uh, we've done a lot. We've also got three faction quests to hand in, which will take us to level 53, but we'll do that tomorrow because there's like a daily bonus when you hand stuff in. So that, oh wait, zero out of three. Wait, maybe it's fine. I, I guess maybe it's a new day. The new, oh wait, no way, that's zero available. Whoops, oh well, level 53, we'll take it. <laughs> and I level up constitution so I don't get one shot. But that's fine, working on that. And uh, yeah, why did I think it meant I had some left? Oh well, that's fine. I'm sure we can uh, do more stuff there, no problem. And look, it's right next to all the other tasks, so that's really easy, we can do that, no problem. Uh, but that is a job for next time. So I hope you enjoyed today, guys. Hope you enjoyed that Baines guy. That guy was ridiculous. But maybe one day we'll get to do the elite area, but that's going to be uh, when I'm a little bit higher level, I think. Yeah, next time I guess we go uh, also towards Eden Grove. And apparently that is around where the next expedition is. So it should be fun. See you then.